Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. With people spending more time at home since the COVID-19 outbreak, the number of families in Korea looking for animal companions has been increasing. The Gyeonggi Assistant Dog Sharing Center is a good place to find such a lifelong companion. At the center, a number of well-groomed dogs are waiting for new owners. Most of these dogs are small breeds rescued from the euthanasia lists of regional animal pounds. However, these dogs can be adopted by new owners as companion or assistant animals after receiving vaccinations, necessary treatments, and training. <laughs> As people spend more time at home during the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of dog adoption cases has been increasing. This past March, 57 dogs found new homes, twice as many as last year's monthly average. 최근에 입양하시는 분들이 많이 늘었는데요. 이제 작년이랑 비교를 해봤을 때두배 이상 늘은 것으로 저희가 분석이 되고 있거든요. Since adopters may choose a trial adoption period of two weeks, they have a chance to consider the match before actual adoption. With 100,000 animals being abandoned annually in Korea, Adoption, instead of purchase, may help reduce the number of homeless animals. With standard road cleaning vehicles being unable to access narrow streets, such places must be cleaned manually. However, since there are a limited number of sanitation workers available, Gyeonggi Province began utilizing small vehicles to clean narrow back streets from last year. In this residential area in Osan City, a small vehicle travels through back alleys, spraying water and sweeping the roads with a front-mounted spinning brush, while also clearing dust. This is one of the many road cleaning vehicles introduced by Gyeonggi Province. Many streets in residential areas and back alleys are inaccessible by large road cleaning vehicles. These narrow streets often see large accumulations of dirt since sanitation workers cannot manually clean all such streets. These small road cleaning vehicles are used for streets that are too narrow for larger vehicles. 전에 할머니 할아버지들이 하셨는데 대강만 하셔요. 대강만 하셨는데 그냥 지금 이렇게 차가 앞으로 하신다니까 너무 너무 고맙습니다. As part of micro dust reduction efforts, Gyeonggi Province introduced the mini road cleaning vehicles last year. Currently, 16 vehicles are operating in seven cities of the province, with more vehicles to be added this year. 골목의 이면도로 청소는 음, 그동안 이제 환경 미연에 의존해서 인력 부족이나 그리고 먼지 제거에 한계가 있었습니다. 근데 이번에는 소형 도로 청소차를 이용해서 흙먼지를 효과적으로 제거하고 그리고 또 미세먼지 저감에 큰 효과를 기대할 수 있을 것으로 기대됩니다. Working faster than sanitation personnel, these mini road cleaning vehicles are reducing micro dust while cleaning up urban back streets. GTV surveyed residents of Gimpo City in Gyeonggi Province regarding the provincial disaster-related basic income payment of 100,000 won, which is usable within a three-month period of receipt and approval. The owner of this fruit store hopes to see an increase in sales after the province began payment of COVID-19-related basic income to residents. The 10만 원이라도 이렇게 지급이 된다면 좀더 이렇게 전체적인 그 경제가 뭐 1%라도 다만 뭐 이렇게 좀 활성화되지 않을까. Residents have welcomed the disaster related basic income payment, hoping that it will help household economic situations. 
지금 나라가 다 어려운 상황인데 경제도 안 좋고 재난 소득을 준다고 하니까 가족들 다 기뻐했었고요. 계획은 이제 시장 같은 데 가서 마스크 잘 착용하고 나가면 되니까 가서 이제 맛있는 거사 먹고 할 예정이었거든요. 저도 이제 경기 도민인데요. 아, 이번에 이제 사실 이제 코로나19 때문에 많은 분들이 힘들어한 재난 기본소득. 예. 아, 정말 좋은 곳에 요긴하게 쓰셔서 아, 힘내셨으면 좋겠습니다. According to a survey conducted via a portal site, 56.1% of respondents agreed that sales have increased after payment of disaster related basic income, while 73% agreed that the payment helped their sales. 이것이 희망의 경제 어떤 불씨가 됐으면 좋겠고요. 어, 가정에서는 어떤 생활 안정 자금으로. Kyungi residents also hope that disaster related basic income will aid local economic revival and contribute to the improvement of the national economy. In a recent contest for new Kyungi provincial anthem lyrics, more than 1,500 entries were received. The previous lyrics were disallowed following allegations that their writer was a pro-Japanese activist. During the contest, recognized music and lyric writers worked hard to review the entries. The Kyungi Provincial Anthem Lyrics Contest was held in an audition format similar to comparable TV programs. After disallowing the previous lyrics last year, Kyungi Province held this invitational public event over a three-month period that began in January. This was the second such event, which saw 1,529 entries, following the first attempt last year that ended with no new lyrics being selected. The 15 candidate lyrics selected during this event are subject to online resident voting that began on April 29th, as well as reviews by specialists. With three finalists selected, a public invitation event for music entries will open on May 18th. 1967년대 제정된 경기도의 노래는 그 노래에 참여했던 이영렬이라고 하는 분이 칠 논란에 휩싸여 있습니다. 그래서 이제 이 시대를 새로 결인할 새로운 경기도 노래를 만들게 되었습니다. The new Kyungi Provincial Anthem, which is being created by Kyungi residents and selected by resident votes in October, will be introduced in early December. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently apprehended a ring of loan sharks who victimized more than 3,600 individuals online with low credit ratings by charging astronomical annual interest that in some cases exceeded 30,000 percent. GTV examined the details. This criminal ring, known as Golden Loan Circle, was comprised of nine hometown acquaintances with an average age of 30. These loan sharks have been operating in Seoul, Kyunggi, and Pusan regions since June 2018. Through online advertising, these individuals primarily targeted working class individuals. <laughs> This illegal operation was centered on high interest rates set far beyond legal limits. On one occasion, these loan sharks made a loan for 270,000 Korean won and collected repayment of 500,000 Korean won the next day, which is equivalent to 31,000 percent in annual interest. They even made threats using the addresses of family members and acquaintances of the victims. 피해자는 무려 3,610명에 이르고 대부 금액은 35억에 이릅니다. 최고 연 이자율은 어 31,000%가 넘는 역대 대부 범죄상 가장 규모가 큰 
The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police pressed criminal charges against all nine individuals and will send them to prosecution upon completion of investigations. The Special Judicial Police will continue efforts to eradicate illegal loans by intensifying investigations of unregistered online loan businesses and operating on-site consultation services. Since the first COVID-19 case was identified in Korea 100 days ago, many remarkable acts have been seen at response sites, with many people volunteering to work alongside those on the front lines. GTV examined some of these scenes involving Kyungi Delinquent Management Team members who help local public offices and pharmacies with related jobs. On the first day of the designated mask purchasing day system, pharmacies were overwhelmed by long lines of people seeking masks. On the first day of the disaster-related basic income application period, this local public office was inundated by applicants. When we visited the same local public office a week later, there were still a large number of people waiting. However, applications were clearly being processed more swiftly than before. There were new additional personnel wearing masks and uniform vests. They provided seniors with guidance, answered phone inquiries, and even helped officials with the processing of applications. They are members of the Kyungi Delinquent Management Team. Corona 19로 인해서 지금 위축된 경기 회복의 최우선 과제이고 전 도민을 대상으로 지급되는 재난 기본 소득을 원활하게 위해서 1,800명 중에 72% 정도인 1,300명이 544개 행정복지센터에서 지원을 하고 있습니다. Consisting of volunteer residents, the designated function of the Kyungi Delinquent Management Team is the investigation of regional tax delinquents. However, when asked by the province, the majority of its members agreed to help public officials who, regardless of rank, are devoting themselves to COVID-19 related activities even during weekends and nights. 코로나 사태가 이제 얘기치 않게 왔는데 이런 상황에 저희가 어려운 곳에서 이렇게 찾아가서 일을 할수 있고 도움을 줄수 있다는 것이 굉장히 기쁘고 자부심을 느낍니다. These volunteers also helped pharmacies with the public sale of masks when the designated mask purchasing day system began. 체납 관리단이 그 재난 기본 소득 그, 그 도움을 주기 위해서 저희 동에도 한네 분이 와 계시는데요. 그분들이 또 사전에 교육을 또 철저히 받고 오셔갖고 많은 도움이 되고 있습니다. The collective efforts of such volunteers to minimize the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic is significantly bolstering those fighting against this crisis. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.